Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like Lily Stanley did. This might be my 99th video, like legitimate video, for my podcast. Which means that the next one is a pending chance that it would be my 100th. And thank you for everyone for joining me for all this time and so forth. I just hope this is all worth it in the end, you know? For this particular video, I'm going to introduce two characters, one villain, one hero, and also a creature. So I hope you guys don't mind while I try to uh, describe them to you. I hope you could bear with me, please. Here's the first one. Madam Lim. Real name, Carol Ackman. Height, 6 foot 3. Weight, 166 pounds. Status, villain, and enemy of Madam Shear. Base, default earth, mole. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, willful and moody. She'll do all it takes to get her revenge. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, rejection, stab wounds, and amputations. Powers, she possesses four metallic tentacles for each arm, with each appendage having four fingers and capable of projecting electrical streams. She also has martial arts, high ferocity, and a strong healing factor thanks to her tentacles. Eyes, lime green, hair, ageless black, short and spiky. Origin. Carol Ackman was a hand model who lost both of her arms from a bombing plotted by Jizar, which is a tyrant from the planet Retronus, I believe. Learning of this, Madame Shear saved Carol by replacing her arms with eight manufactured tentacles, but despite this, Carol perceived this as a violation to her life. After defeating Madame Shear, the newly named Madame Lim went to destroy Destiny until she got her tentacles ripped off, leaving her more dead than alive. Eventually, her tentacles were regenerated, and Madame Lim is recently a new member of the Sinful Six after Mother Ward had gotten to a coma from fighting Pym. Costume. She wears nothing official, nothing in particular. She just wears whatever she feels like wearing. Teams. Solitary, with the Sinful Six, and other villains. Partial Inspiration, Marvel's Lady Octopus. This character is a very unique kind of hero. You know? Just bear with me, please. Now, real name, Nancy Schumann. Height, 6 feet, half an inch. Weight, 157 pounds. Status, hero, and Schumann sister's member. Base, New York City, Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Tough, flirtatious, and observant. She never seems to worry about any danger that comes her way. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she has no healing factor. Powers. She can stretch her neck to unrecorded distances. She later develops some martial arts training. Eyes, light gray, hair, deep black and spiky. Origin. Nancy Schumann was a young woman who was born with scoliosis, which got her in a wheelchair for a tough time. One day, Nancy was invited by a scheming neuron to be cured of her scoliosis. After the procedure, Nancy gained the power to stretch her neck to great distances. However, neuron brainwashed neck, and made her hold Mayor Dales for ransom. However, Neck was confronted by Heel, Femur, and Rot, and after the fight, her brainwashing was disabled from a head injury. Since then, Neck got some combat training from Sight, who is now a member of the Schumann Sisters. Costume. She wears nothing official, nothing in particular. She just wears what she feels like wearing. 
teams, Solitary with the Schumann sisters and other heroes. Source of inspiration, Elasticity. The last thing that I'm going to introduce is a creature rather than a character. And I hope you guys could bear with me. Octodon. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 25 feet. Weight, 17 tons. Status, villain in creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage and relentless. They always enjoy blood and flesh. Lethality. As above, they're more deadly in groups. Weaknesses, explosions, electricity, and amputations. Powers. It has the head of any kind of predatory shark and the tentacles of an octopus. Each tentacle has two curved claws that work like stingers, injecting its target with a fatal venom. It possesses all the powers of both organisms and tends to travel in groups of 50 members. Eyes deep black. Air not. Origin. After being inspired by the dimensional cosmos, Dr. Scream decided to create a swarm of creatures that are crossed between an octopus and a shark. Naming the creatures as Octodons, she commanded them to start attacking Seattle for food. Eventually, the groups went into a fight against pods of howling orcas, which led to their deaths. Partially upset of this, Dr. Scream recovered the Octodons for future plans, seeing that they are still worth using. Costume, none. Team, solitary, for Dr. Scream, or other creatures. Orgel inspiration, shark with us. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three themes I've introduced for this video, and second mention, this would be my 99th video for my podcast. And I uh, hope you guys have a fine time so far with the month. Um, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice, you know, you know, you get the drill, yeah. So, uh, I will be making sure to make things work for my next video, the 100th video, as far as I know. So, I hope you guys enjoy all the stuff that I've been telling you so far, past, present, and future. And until next time, in transmission.